Okay, it's not funny anymore. It's almost the end of April. It's 37 degrees. The trees are still bald. And the wind is blowing 20 miles an hour. Now I've caught large bass, I've caught shadow bass, I've even caught trout on a full-size Senko. This is a full-size Senko. I've got my Whiskey River cactus wine color. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. See, there's other people have had the same idea that have gotten their junk stuck up here and uh, yeah but can you blame them I mean this is this just looks ideal <laughs> see where I'm stuck at here So welcome to inside the old pump house. I don't know if this is going to do much good. There's a bite. <laughs> little pickerel that's funny there are lots of pickerels no doubt about that we got this beautiful outflow and I'm just kind of moving this worm through the water here I mean it's just cool back here isn't it y'all I might widen out my view let you guys see a little bit more of what I'm looking at matter of fact let me do that let's see here there we go it's a little bit better of a view I'm just gonna skip a Senko around in here I've already had one little pickerel <laughs> Now you would think, well, maybe, so you would think this would be getting bit every time I throw it under, because this is just a, an ideal spot when you think about it. This is an ideal spot for a fish to get a meal. Let's see if I can get this to, there we go. I really don't have a whole lot of room. So it's just easier if I skip it.
first brown of the day. Awesome. Good catch. Better fish, real good fish. Smallmouth. Good smallmouth. There we go. First smallie of the day. I just saw the biggest fish jump. I don't know if y'all saw that on camera, right out here. Let's try and get it. Oh man, they're all over the place. Jumping and dodging. They're feeding, that's for sure. I don't have a whole lot of weight on this jig head, which I think is actually good. Um, it's allowing it to kind of stay up in the water column, which normally I'd want this on the bottom, but if they're top feeding, I'm going to do what I can to stay in their zone. And this, so far, in a very short period of time, within like five minutes, I've had two real good bites. And here's number three. Oh my goodness. That's a good fish, folks. That's a really good fish. <laughs> oh, look at that. There we go. Come on now. There. That's a nice bass. Stay pinned, buddy. Stay pinned. Let's show you the camera. Beautiful. Number three in about five minutes. Got this little robo worm working with this 16th ounce Arky jig head. And that, folks, is a plan for this morning. Wow. Let's get a picture of her. Put her right back in the water. My goodness, we gotta get Kelly up here on this action. That is a very pretty fish, folks. Very pretty. All right. Once it gets behind, you pick it up. you go back because if you get this snag coming back forward Break off. Oh, 
Đây Yes That's it Awesome That a girl That's a nice one Sorry I'm yelling camera people Folks at home Oh that's a good one On the Aaron Martin's Hot Tip Special, Robo Worm with a little jig head. Yes! Try aiming for those rocks. Try aiming for those. There's a good one. I don't know how I snagged it on the outside of the mouth though. That's great. Oh no, I didn't. It's on the inside. Decent fish.